not even loud enough, bro. That's supposed to. I think I have it. Hey guys! I'm weak. He said if you're not. No, my whole intro! Go ahead. Go ahead. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, he calling me on my shit. He said we adults here. <laughs> Why? He says, if you're not ready, it's okay to admit it. We're adults. Hey, bitches. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Rihanna, but she doesn't want to show her face because her hair is apparently not done. But whatever. She brought over some wine. And we about to just answer some questions about my life. Because I haven't been on this shit in about, damn, how long has it been? Like a year. So, yeah, we could have done the best friend tag, but we wasn't ready for that. I just cranberry juice, I promise. What's that, people? Boob it up. Right. So, let's go. Oh, yay! I don't have to open the cork. Just won't stop. Cheers. Cheers. Ugh, this shit warm. Anyways. You sure you don't want to be in it? Oh, uh, you're posting this online? Yes. Alright, delete that whole intro. No, gotta, why? You're, you want, like, questions. You want to interview me? That's what you want to do? To update my life? Like, what's been going on? Sure, why not? Okay. Um, Jocelyn, what have you been up to? <laughs> what type of fucking question is that? That's a legit, legitimate question. I'm pretty sure your viewers would like to know. What I've been up to this past year. Okay, so first, I'm back in school. Uh, I've been focused on that. I've been promoted. And I work at a different site now. So I work at the same school that I was working at before. Um, Actually running the program over there. And... I just been hanging out with my friends, <laughs> pretty much. So, yeah. What? What's your next question? My next question is: Where do you see yourself in five years? I'm 28, so in the next five years, I would have to say that I see myself finally settled down, living with someone. Maybe possibly either having a kid already or in the progress of that, like in the process mm -hmm. of that. Yeah. Um, definitely already with my bachelor's and working on, I guess, working on the educational side of what I want to do career wise. Okay, that's good. Yeah. So, so you have a foundation on what you want it to look like. Do you see yourself still living in New York? I don't think so. Really? Where would you see yourself going? Out of state. Um, like Connecticut, Massachusetts, PA. I wouldn't do Jersey. I don't think I would do Jersey. Even though it's, like, right there, so it's, like, close to home. Yeah. I don't know. Because, I don't know. I still feel like it's close. That's true. Yeah. But what do you want to still be close enough to family? I mean, yeah. But then again, with the way things are going now, who knows? Who knows? That's true. Like, I barely even see my own brother. It's so crazy how people always want to um, put a time stamp on what they want to do, but, you know, stuff doesn't always happen the way you would like it to, but you know how, like, one door closes and another one opens? Yeah. So you feel, has, has that happened to you, or has it happened accordingly the way you want it to go? 
like what I've had planned for my life. Mm-hmm. My life has been a total. Well, my adult life has been a roller coaster. It has been where I thought I was on the right path to do what it was that I actually wanted to, and then that failed. And then love wise, also. And then I thought I finally met somebody else, and I was going back to school, and I was doing what I had to, and then that failed. So then, now that I've been single for three years, it's like, now I feel like it's back on track. Okay. But like I said, it's like, it's been a roller coaster. So now, I think, I think it's more, like, I have to stay focused on what I'm already working on, because I feel like I've... Like, I've I've improved a lot more on shit that I used to plan on and never actually worked on. Yeah. So, that's, that's, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess, relationship-wise, how are you going? What's, what's the status on that? Not in a relationship. Okay. (laughs) Damn, that kind of just ended. That's quick. (laughs) I'm not, I mean, okay, so... For the past three years, I feel like dealing with what I dealt with with my ex, um, I was scared to get into anything else. So when I finally had met somebody that I thought I could have like something potentially with, and they kind of like fucked me over. Now anything that has to do with the title, that has to do with relationship, that has to do with anything, I I compare it to a breakup, or I compare it to being hurt, or I compare it to being getting my heart broken, or Whatever that case is. So now it's just like, I just go with the flow. I'm chilling. Like, I don't have anything specific. Because if I say I do, then that means that I'm I'm putting it in that category. Yeah. And that's not what it is at all. Like, I'm just chilling. Like, I'm having a good time. Keeping my options open. Like, not trying to focus on someone and still focusing on myself. Of even course. though I might be having fun with somebody. Um, you mentioned that you had a rough patch, um, mm-hmm. like relationship wise. Would you like to go in details with my last relationship or with the last person that I actually fell for? Ugh, wrong piece of words. Yeah, not fell for, but like fell in like with because I liked her a lot. Mm. So it's either you're talking about like the person I recently like had feelings for, or yeah. you're talking about. Oh, okay. So, this is somebody that I met randomly at Pride. Okay. And off jump, we just clicked. We talk every day. Our first conversation on the phone lasted like five hours. Um, it was just cool. We would hang out. Um, at the beginning, I had the impression that she liked me. Also, we ended up becoming like really good friends. I ended up finding out more about her life, and I just. A little bit that I was getting played, but I was falling for it because of, I guess, the connection that I finally had with somebody after so long of not having it with anybody that would come into my life. Mm-hmm. So it just came to the point where I kind of just stuck with whatever bullshit that brought me. <laughs> um, I mean, you were there for half of it. But was, your viewers weren't there. So... Do you want to elaborate? You can elaborate for me since you were there. I know you don't want to be on camera, but like, I mean, you can cut your head off. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, no, maybe I'm interviewing you. You have to tell. I mean, yeah, but like, I mean, you can elaborate on like on a different point of view as to like how I went through these things. Like, I mean, I think it was just the first time I finally felt something for somebody and I felt like I had a connection with somebody and there was like some type of bond there Mm -hmm. that it came to the point where I was blind to any little mistreatment that they did to me Mm -hmm. that I just continued to just stick around until I felt like, oh, like you're finally noticing me or you're finally admitting to have feelings for me or you finally want to be around me or you finally just want to be about me. And then the moment that you felt that way and it was going on the right path, something would happen to completely do the 180 again and we would be back at square one. Mm -hmm. So it was like from last, wow, it's about to be a year. From last year, January, up until the end of summer, Mm -hmm. 
it was literally like I like you, I don't like you, I like you, I don't like you, I like you, I don't like you, spending money, spending time, spending pointless effort into trying to invest my time into somebody that was just basically using me for the attention of my mom. And then when I finally realized it, it was kind of too late because I was going broke. <laughs> but that was, that, was, that was pretty much it. It was just me being blind because it was the first time I had liked somebody a lot. But I'm just lucky it wasn't worse. Because I can't necessarily say I was heartbroken, but I was hurt because at the end of the day, I still thought that at least a friendship would always be there. And that's not the case because me and that person do not speak anymore. Do you miss that person? I, I'll admit that, yeah. But I, I think I said this. Like I I feel like I just, I'll miss that person because of the memories, not miss them because I still want them in my life. Because I know of the hurt they'll bring me. I miss them because of that moment that we had or that quick laugh or, you know. Mm-hmm. But that's it. Um, do you feel as if you would open up to someone else? Ooh, I, I, I kind of did that a little bit already. How is that going for you? Um, It's scary. I'll say that. But I feel like because I know... Because I know that I'm doing it without an intention is what's not pushing... Like, I'm not pushing myself away. If that makes sense. Because okay. my intention isn't to open up because I want something out of it. I think I'm I'm just doing it because fuck okay, it. You asked me to show you whatever. That's or, true. And you're right because you shouldn't close yourself up for someone else that's willing to Right. Because at the same time, if the person. person is mutually like sharing stuff with me, then mm-hmm. why should I have that wall up? So. I would be like, let's go to Never doing hookah ever again. And that shit got tobacco in it. All the time. Did it not No, shit. Dum, 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 Yes, I'm dumb. Stupid. I'm not doing it. What the hell? How did you not know that? Yo, and I was talking to someone. And I was like, wait, you can get the ones without tobacco? He was like, yeah, but they may have nicotine in it. I was like, yeah. I was like, what the fuck is that shit? And I was like, I Bitch. thought I was getting high off a, like, um, a flavor and uh, just getting high off of something. Back, Yo, son, never again. Yeah, it's the last time I'm doing hookah, bro. You a whole lot. I told myself, yeah. I swear to God, I'll drink with All you. All this time. All this time. Doing hookah. I'm, but I didn't know. Stupid me, I didn't know. Yeah, I hear this. Yeah, you can add that part. Anyways. So, I'm back on my YouTube channel, right? And I'm trying to, like, update it and stuff. And I've been doing a and a with Harina. Harina's here, by the way. Say hi. Hello. Um, so, I was curious to see if... what. Well, there was one question in the world that you wanted to ask me. What would it be? Is that too much pressure? <laughs> Plenty that you probably you probably haven't asked me. So. Okay. Um. What is your ideal first date? Oh Lord. Okay, that was a good one. Um. um damn. Okay, let me think about this. I would have to say. Go. Okay, I'll probably say going to, like, an art museum, and then getting some ice cream, 
and then ending a night with a drink and some good conversation. Okay. I'll probably say that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because it makes me think. It makes me wonder, like, it makes me put myself in somebody else's perspective as to what they was feeling at that moment. So if I look at something and it makes me feel some type of way, I would want to be like, okay, so what were they thinking when they drew this or they painted this? And what was going on at that very moment that made them feel that way? Right. Okay. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Um, what's something, what's a pet peeve of yours? What's what? A pet peeve. A pet peeve. Ooh. Ooh, that's hard. I have, I don't know. What's a pet peeve of mine, you know? Um, shit. That's the case. You have a lot of them. I do. I have a lot of them, probably. <laughs> Holy mother. Um. I. Damn. I can't think of something. Why? Um. A pet peeve of mine. I think what happened. One main major thing, and I think everybody knows this, is when I'm fucking ignored. If I feel like you're ignoring me, you're going to piss me off and I'm going to want to freaking stab you in your eyeball with a fork. <laughs> <laughs> like, you hear me talking to you. Why are you ignoring me? Yeah, that is though. I know because I'll go, it'll be like a whole minute that I didn't write you back and you be, you be left on ready. Be like, um, hello. Right. Okay, my like, bad. Like, I was doing something. Right. Exactly. Um, that's definitely like number one. Let me see. Another one would probably be. Liar. She, she hate being lied to. Oh hell yeah! I hate she, being lied she to. She said like she definitely senses that shit from a mile away. Right. I can't. Like it's horrible because it's like I know when somebody's lying to me, and it could be through a fucking phone, and I'd dead be like, nah, they fucking lying. Fuck this shit. Like. Like I have like a seven sense for that. Um. Not a six cents, a seven cents. Not a thousand. Right. Not a six cents. With a seven. Right. Because my six cents would probably be being fake. Maybe that's another pet peeve of mine. When I can sense that you're being fake as fuck. Like, you don't have to entertain me if you don't want to, bro. Like, go about your business. Facts. Mm hmm. All right. What's a dream trip of yours? Oh. I want to go to Greece. Why? There's, like, these, like, houses built on the side of the mountains, like, right over the water, and that view looks amazing. And I just literally want to just stand there and just, like, breathe in and breathe out and just, like, listen to my surroundings. That's dope. Yeah. I'm a views person, so mm-hmm. I like that shit. Mm-hmm. That was. Because okay. <laughs> I thought about that forever. One more, one more. Give me one more. One more? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, what's the one thing that you would do? If you could be anywhere in the world right now, where would you be? Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's a bad question. <laughs> If I could be anywhere in the world right now, where would I be? Um, can I, like, skip? <laughs> no. Why? Why would you ask me that, Samantha? You just asked me to ask you a question. Oh, my God. Um... Okay, so, alright, you know what, no, I'm a, like, for real, for real, like, on some real shit, 
I feel like I would be in my living room with both my siblings and my parents having a good ass time because that hasn't happened in a while. Okay, cool. Those those questions are good. Those questions are good. I try, you know. I appreciate you. I'm gonna eat that pie. <laughs> you wanna say bye? <laughs> you wanna say bye to my YouTube channel? <laughs> All right. Um, I'll text you. Well, what time are you gonna get to PA? I'm on my way now. I should be there in like thirty. Bro, damn. All right. Well, I'll talk to you later then. All right. Bye. Bye. <coughs> All right, guys. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next.